Hello sisters, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna and today, yes, November is here and I live in Canada, winter is coming and it's getting a little bit colder. So I have some winter jackets that I'm going to be trying on for you guys. I got these jackets a few years back and I'm just trying to see if I'm going to be keeping it, if I'm going to be just selling it or if I'm just going to keep one or the other. I'm going to be trying on this jacket and this jacket. So let's get started. Sisters, let's try it. What do you think of this jacket? What's the style? The style is the hood goes on your foot. <laughs> I'm showing you the first jacket already. So this is the PJS. The retail price for this one is $1,400. And I got this at a warehouse sale, so it's a lot cheaper. Look at this nice bright red jacket. Isn't this perfect for like Christmas? This is like bright red Christmas color. And I love this color. It has a nice color scheme going on. Red and the beige, the brown, some blacks. I love this. I think most of my jackets are like black or gray, more of a neutral tone. So it's kind of nice to have like a bright red, especially if you're getting lost in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna find me. <laughs> first things first, I have a few winter jackets and this is definitely heavier than my other one. Let's try it right now. Oh, it's definitely pretty thick. I can already feel how thick it is. I got this in an extra small. It's quite long. It definitely covers all the way to my butt, which I love because Whenever I get any kind of longer jackets, it must, must cover my butt as well. Because you have a cold butt? Because I have a cold butt. I have a cold butt. My butt does not have any fat. It's too small. So what do you think? I really like the red. I really like the color. If I zip it up like this. So the zipper doesn't go all the way down. It starts from here and it can zip up all the way to the top if I can zip it up to the top I don't think I can my chin is in the way my fat chin maybe only up to here and then if I really want to put this all the way down I have a button at the bottom here and then also some buttons here too but this will take too long most people won't even button this up it's just mainly for looks. And what I love about this is it has so many pockets. On the outside, it has like maybe like four or five. A side pocket here, huge pocket on the left side, a big pocket here, an inner pocket that you can put your more important things. Also another mini pocket where there's like a button here, unbutton it and then you can put smaller things. There's also a huge pocket. And inside this pocket, of course, it comes with extra button. Another big pocket on the right side. Another small pocket here. Vertical tiny pocket right here too. What can you put in here? Like a pen? A pocky stick, just one. <laughs> Actually, I think it can fit the whole pack in here. Speaking of pockets, so those are the outside pockets and then now the inside. The inside pockets, of course, they have to have some secret pockets, which I like. The secret pockets, one on each side. You can put, I don't think you can put your phone in here. Maybe just like a smaller version. Definitely not the iPhone Plus. But so far, I am sweating already. That means that this is very warm. Why am I doing a b-boy pose? what let's put on the hood I love this hood look look at how furry this is apparently this is a uh, fake fur but this one here the this is real fur trim so all around the hood the trim is real Finland raccoon hair if we take a look at the hood you can see at the back here you can actually adjust how tight you want it so if you have a smaller head you can adjust it to be a little bit tighter and then you can also adjust this part this is what um, the benefit about this jacket is it has like four buttons you can see that when it snaps together it'll make this tighter and it'll create more warmth 
and protection as well from the wind. Two pairs on one side and two pairs on the other side. So there's eight buttons in total. Let's put this on and zip this up. Oh, yeah, you can really feel the tightness around the neck. But I can't really put on the hood, look. <laughs> Half of my head is exposed. Look at this. I don't think this will work. Look at this. Does this look funny? <laughs> we'll do a Zoolander pose. This is getting hot in here. So take off your jacket. Another good thing about this jacket is I like the feature how where you hook your jacket is at the back. So you can see when you hook it, your jacket is still in a good shape. But a lot of times when you hook it on the inside, it usually deforms it quite a bit. It's nice to have the hook on the outside so you can see that it will still stay in shape. I really like the fur. It's so pretty and it's so soft. Even though it's fake fur here, but it's really, really soft. The real fur, this is the raccoon fur here. It's really, really pretty. So you can see that there's nice details on the elbow. There's a lot of seam, the trimmings, and also the cuffs here are elastics. You can see the waistband here is a little bit uh, wider, which also helps your waist to be a little bit smaller. They also have zippers here. So if you like to run a lot, you like to do a lot of movements or hiking a lot, then you can also undo this and then you can have more freedom with the movement. This is the first jacket. I'll try on the second jacket now. Here is jacket number two. Okay, jacket number two, it's a lot shorter, kind of like a, in a way, like a bomber jacket. This jacket is retail for $13.50. I'm pretty sure you can get this a little bit cheaper because this is an older style. You can see the fur trim here. It's a little bit different, or at least the color is different, but it's also made of the Finland raccoon. Same thing, but different kind of color. Very, very pretty, and it's very soft too. I got this in black because who doesn't like a nice black jacket? On the inside, you can see same thing, just like the red jacket, it also has a nice fur trim to it. This is also fake fur, so this is just imitated fur. The only real fur is just the line trimming here on the hood. The main difference of this jacket is it doesn't have a real hood. There's a hidden hood on the back. If I just flip this up, you can see that there's like a nice long zipper and if we unzip this, it has like a thin hood. So it's just a very, very thin, kind of like a windbreaker kind of material. Very thin. Ah, I forgot to say, the really good thing about this is this jacket and also the red jacket, you can also detach the fur. If you detach the buttons and the zipper here, you can take out the fur completely. So the great thing about this is you can detach the fur and then you can clean your jacket afterwards. I really like the fur. I really like the color of the fur. It's like a golden brown with some black highlights. Another big difference about this is it has the fur lining on the inside of the jacket, but the red one does not have it. They only have it on the inside of the hood. I'm gonna try this on. It's definitely not as thick as the other one. Doesn't really cover my butt though. Just only up until the lower of my waist. For a jacket like this, because it is a little thinner and also shorter, maybe you can use it fall or even end of fall, beginning of winter when it's not like wind chill minus 30. I think this is a nice transition from fall to winter. The features on this black jacket is very similar to the red one. So less pockets but there's also a main pocket here and of course they also have extra buttons pocket here just like this 
a hidden pocket here, a smaller thin pocket, nice big side pocket, another big pocket here too. There's no hidden pockets on the inside. I like this jacket on you. Does it look nice? It's nice. Maybe because most of my jackets are like really, really long. Have you seen my Aritzia one? That Aritzia one is like so long all the way to my calves. <laughs> but I need that jacket. Oh, if you haven't checked it out, I'm going to link it over here. Check it out. Let's try the hood with you guys. Because you guys like to see everything. I feel like I'm going to be kind of unimpressed with the hood. Oh! <laughs> now I look like a reaper. With some nice fur trim. Oh no, reaper does this. Yeah, I don't think I would ever use this hood. It's too dainty and thin and cheap. So I would probably use one of my knitted hats. What do you guys think? Should I keep both of the jackets? Should I keep the red jacket only, the black jacket only, or just put it on Poshmark? Comment down below and let me know what you think of the jackets. I really like how the red jacket, it's long, it covers my butt. Um, the fur trim is really nice on the hood. It has a nice big hood as well. But at the same time, I like the black jacket because it's like durable and you don't really see the dirt as easily. I don't know. It's a top choice. You know what? Just thinking about it, I should keep both of them. <laughs> no, too much jackets. My husband really likes the black one. I like both of them, but I don't love both of them. I think I might sell it on Poshmark. I hope you guys like this episode and I'll see you in my next one. Bye sisters. The way my hands feel